What's up everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. So check out what I got for you on this table. This is the brand new Ryobi 2022 battery powered leaf blowers. Through the season we're gonna be checking all those out but right now there's one leaf blower on this table we really care about. I'm really excited to see it and it's right here and the reason why I have such excitement is because according to Ryobi their claim is this is the most powerful battery powered cordless leaf blower ever made. The Ryobi 40 volt HP brushless jet fan blower. Prepare to be blown away by the industry's most powerful handheld blower ever. Now according to Ryobi, this is 730 CFM, 190 mile per hour. The only thing is, it sounds like a little fishy to me. We're gonna actually check out to see if that is in fact true. In the meantime, let's find out what is included with this blower. So the Ryobi blower we're checking out today is the RY404100. You can see this is everything that's included. Let's start over here with the batteries. So this comes with two 40 volt, four amp hour batteries. It has a power gauge on the back here and each of these batteries is rated at 144 watt hours. So you get two of those. Next you get the Ryobi charger, which according to Ryobi can charge these batteries in under an hour. You get two nozzles. Now that's something we're gonna talk about later. You can see on these nozzles, it's written 160, 175, 190, which means you can adapt or cut these rubber nozzles down to change what speed you want out of the end of the blower. Now here's the blower. You can see it's part of the Whisper series. They have some muffling in the back here, which actually keeps it pretty quiet. It's got a brushless motor inside. You have a cruise control, a trigger, variable speed trigger right here, and a turbo button. So everyone wants to know how long can that blower run with this battery? Well, I've got the answer for you. And today we're calling that the mini beach volleyball blower bonanza. Not to be confused with the world famous beach ball blower bonanza. That's not here. I don't need copyright strikes, so do not complain YouTube. What I've got going here, I've got a fully charged battery. I've got a blower in turbo mode. It's putting out maximum air. Let's see how long this thing runs for. Here we go. Fully charged battery and turbo. Here comes the test. I have to say that was, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Disappointing. So if you noticed during that video, the blower only ran for about seven minutes. And during that seven minutes, the ball was actually dropping most of the time, which means you were not getting full power for that little minuscule seven minute period of time. Now I'm sure there's a good explanation for this. Why don't we turn it over to Ryobi to see what they have to say. Conquer your lawn with up to two hours of run time. Uh, what'd you just say? Conquer your lawn with up to two hours of run time with the included four amp hour lithium ion batteries. All right, I'm gonna go out and blow the leaves. I'll probably be like uh, two hours or so. It's one of my favorite videos, the beach ball blower bonanza. So we all know that Ryobi has a habit of exaggerating, but I have to say, this is sort of like beyond that. I recorded 14 minutes for both batteries that are included with this kit, and they're saying two hours. I don't even see it there. If they had us at half hour, maybe an hour I could buy into that, but two hours, mm, big stretch. So in order to understand what I wanna to talk to you about, first we need to explore CFM and miles per hour and how that relates to moving leaves efficiently. So here's the deal. Maximum, most ideal situation is high CFM, high miles per hour, just like this Ryobi blower's promising us here. It's like the maximum of both worlds, right? So what I wanna to demonstrate to you is those numbers have to work together to get ideal leaf clearing results. Let me show you. So let's start this discussion with the king of CFM, the box fan. This box fan is capable of putting out about 2000 CFM at around 20 miles per hour. Let's see how it does it moving leaves. 
So the next test is gonna be powered by my lungs. I'm gonna breathe through the straw as fast as I can. Supposedly air will come out at around 250 miles per hour. Let's see if I can move these leaves. So there's a real reason that I needed you to understand miles per hour and CFM and how it relates to a leaf blower because there's a dirty little secret in this industry that some manufacturers they kind of fudge their numbers. Let me show you what I mean. So basically you can take the air coming out of this, that's the CFM or the cubic feet per minute. Now you can put something like this on it. This is a nozzle. You put that on the end and you can see it actually restricts the airflow. But as it restricts the airflow, it actually improves or increases the miles per hour. But at the same time, it reduces your CFM. So basically, I believe Ryobi is giving you the best numbers from both scenarios, one with the nozzle on, and the second one, CFM with the nozzle off. So this is how I know Ryobi's definitely messing around with these numbers. Here's a nozzle on the blower. You can see at the bottom here, it says 190. That stands for 190 miles per hour. That is if you do not cut this rubber nozzle at all. If you go up here, it goes to 175. For those of you who do not like 190, there's an option for 175. If you did not like 175, you can drop all the way down to 160. Now, if you pull this nozzle off, who knows what you're getting, maybe 150, but in this case with the nozzle off, you're actually getting full CFM, full 730 CFM. Now, that's why it brings into question, is this truly a 730 CFM, 190 mile per hour blower? The answer, I'm pretty sure, is no. So, you've been waiting for this moment, why don't we try this blower and see if we can move around some leaves. So here it is guys, this blower without question is super quiet and really powerful. But, and you knew that butt was coming, you can only run it on turbo with a fully charged battery for seven minutes. So I've learned something about how I feel about blowers thanks to this guy right here and that is it's important to have power and runtime, which this one doesn't have. The other thing about this blower I don't particularly love is it always seems to be eating your clothes. It just sucks them in right here. So I had really high hopes for this blower, but it has not replaced my favorite battery powered blower from Ego, the 650 CFM, 180 miles per hour. It is powerful and it's got a long runtime. It actually won my beach ball blower bonanza. You can see that video down below, there's a link. Also, if you really wanna go crazy and possibly achieve that two hour runtime, you can use the Ego Link backpack that I'm showing you right here. This thing is an awesome setup. It's for someone who doesn't wanna go back inside. So you can remain in the dark and not find out who makes the best and most powerful battery leap blower or you could click right there. The answer's right in your grasp. Do it. I'll catch you over there.